Hey guys, uh, I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, so I'm doing it now. Um, today we're gonna teach you how to make audio waveforms uh, or spectrums or audio go up and down thing animation. Um, just like I did it in my recent video, stop uh, sopa and stop peepa or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So all you're gonna need is a white solid, and uh, you can do this with any thing you want, any club you can put under it, whatever, all the normal stuff. Also I've been getting complaints about my uh, cussing so I'll, I'll stop it. It's not like I do it, I'll, uh, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't know why I did it. So I'll just stop, I'm not addicted. So uh, what we're gonna do is go to effects and uh, first you gotta make a layer first, uh, I mean, um, yeah, solid first, I'll show you how to do that if you don't know. Let's go to layer new solid or you can just right click new solid and make it comp size choose the color it doesn't matter in this case and voila so we're gonna go to effect generate and we're going to generate uh, audio spectrum kazam right okay now our audio spectrum doesn't have any audio it's current audio layers white solid too which doesn't have any audio to it as you can see so what we're going to do is just bring in our audio file which is this uh, which I recorded now we're not gonna listen to it we just want the waveforms if you want to listen to it just click this again and if the speaker is showing you will be able to listen to it if the speaker is not showing you won't it's that simple I don't want to listen to it because I just I just went there and made some crazy noises uh, just for this tutorial. Um, we're gonna go into effects and white solid. So uh, as you can see, if we run through it now, still nothing because we have to change it to weird WMA, which is our audio name. Yours will be different. And if we go, ah, oh, it, it's showing some bar, but that's not what we want we want the connected squiggly thingy right um so how we do that mm. well first of all uh you're gonna go in here and you're just gonna change it from digital to analog lines and that's gonna give you that squiggly lines but still it's not that good you know what actually i'm just gonna get um a different audio hold on pause for a second Alright, I got a different audio here. Uh, it's called SOPA. This is the one I used for my previous video. Um, so we're just going to use that instead of weird.wm. Just going to use SOPA. By the way, it doesn't have to be WM, it could be anything. So we come in here and we're going to change the audio thing to again to SOPA. And it's much better. The reason I'm using this is because it has variety. As you can see, it's going all over the place. Whether uh, where the weird dot WMA was like just right here. So um, <clears throat> it looks boring right right now, right? Uh, first, we gotta change this. We're just gonna make it full screen, okay? So here we go. Um, a little bit on this side. All right. Um, as you can see, frequency bands. This shows how many points it has basically to move up and down. These are actually points that are moving up and down. I can actually show you by putting analog dots. See, these are just dots moving up and down, and by putting lines, I'm just connecting the dots together. So if I put more dots in, the lines would be more steeper. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let's 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 go back to analog lines. So as you can see, if I like take away lines, this is how it gets. If I put more lines in, it looks like this. So let's put like about here. It looks pretty good. Let's fit to 100%. Okay. Um. <clears throat> let's take away just a little. Okay. Now it's still not going high enough, right? Uh, it's still kind of boring looking. So what we're gonna do is uh. Just gonna change the maximum height and pull it up. So we're gonna put it like here, so that our actual maximum, which is right here, I'm just gonna make sure nothing goes out of the frame. 
and alakazam we have it right but wait uh maybe you don't want it in this color right maybe you just want white inside white and the border is the outside color so some people like the border like bluish so it looks like it's glowing so, but uh, let's try that let's try bluish you know look like that so it's like subtle effect on it but uh, we're just gonna leave that white we can change it to bluish doesn't matter uh, because I'm gonna show you something cool let's say you wanted uh, different colors like red over here and kind of fades to green over here kind of fades to blue we can do that with hue interpolation and just change it cuz um, you see how that works now to make this even better let's just change it to white and now we've got no color whatsoever that's because it's not hue interpolation is not a color itself it's not a color setting itself it's rather changing the hue of uh, these color right here so what you're gonna do is just put a random color in cause then right okay and just the more you keep winding it the more weirder the colors are gonna get like rainbows so let's bring it back to like just change this number to like one and kabam or kazam whatever you wanna say so as you can see that's our thing you can use this to make like heartbeats and stuff and all that cool stuff so go nuts with it um one thing i also thought was a little cool uh, was uh change this to zero change this to white change this to slightly bluish and uh, what you do is uh, you add a glow to it and it looks really good I mean uh, I don't usually use glows and stuff um, but uh, glow on this stuff looks really good as you can see so yeah that's our tutorial right there how to make audio lines waves uh, audios audio uh, audio spectrum and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching this has been uh, point I mean HD video touch uh, I'll see you on the next one um, yeah peace out